Hey YouTube, just I need to come back with another video to encourage, inspire, uplift, inform anybody that may come to my video. Now I want to talk about ancestral trauma. Now what brought this to my heart was when I was watching a movie called Another Self. It was on Netflix and it was really talking about, you know, trauma from ancestral lineages. And sometimes we don't understand why we're going through certain things, feeling certain things, acting a certain way. Just diseases like cancer, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, aggression, you know, addictions and, you know, just depression, anxiety, fear, you know, all of those particular emotions is, could be part of an ancestral trauma. Okay, and the only reason why I say that is because when I was watching this movie, God, it really illuminated to me that this is what some people could be going through, right? Because just for instance, one of the girls that was in the movie, she had cancer and she went to a shaman, a healer to be able to see if he can help her, you know, become healed from this, this particular disease. And what he did was he did, you know, a trauma, you know, a trauma session where he took her back to, you know, when she was a child and her dad had died and her mother was laying over him. And so was she. And what happened was she took on the pain of her mom in a sense of, you know, helping her, you know, encouraging her and being comforting to her at such a young age, she lost her childhood being being in this state of, you know, helping her mom get over the pain of losing her husband and her father. And so once she came to realize that, you know, it wasn't her responsibility to take on the take on the pain and the trauma of her mom is when she became healed. And when she went back to get a test to see, you know, if the cancer had spread or anything, it was gone. It was gone. The cancer was gone. I said, what? So it can happen. You know, diseases can become, um, can develop through trauma, emotional trauma. You know, um, it was another girl that was scared of going in the water because, you know, she just always felt like she was drowning. And her, you know, her great grandmother was killed and thrown overboard. You understand what I'm saying? And she and it went down her ancestral lineage as a descendant of her grandmother, her great grandmother, where that panic and pain of drowning attached to her. So she was afraid to, to go swimming and she was afraid to, you know, go near water because she felt like she would drown. But once she went through that session and realized what had happened, she was set free and she was able to go swimming, diving. You know, she said, you know, light um, candles up to the universe and to her ancestries to say, you know, we can let go of this trauma and be free of it. And she was, she was free. So I was so, I was just so overwhelmed and in, 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 a, in a good way where I'm like, you know, some people can be going through these things and they don't even know it. They can be going through emotional distress and emotional traumas and certain diseases and things that's going on within their body is based on ancestral trauma. Not something you did, because you know the ancestor, when they say the bloodline, everything is in the blood. Your ancestors' memories, your ancestors' trauma, your ancestral gifts, everything is in your blood. So it can come into your into your body and into your emotions in so many different forms. So it was just so um, empowering to me that when I, I didn't know none of this. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not as much. And not how detrimental it was to understand that we do carry ancestral trauma in our emotional body. And sometimes it can sit there for decades and fester and become a form of a disease from in our outer, our outer body, you know? And I was just like, you know, if this is the case, then, you know, you can be healed of certain things that's going on in your life by healing the trauma that your ancestries went through. That's why you got to 
connect with your divinity, you know, connect with your higher self, you know, connect with your ancestors, connect with your guides, connect to the angels. They will show you. They will show you what type of traumas that you are going through based on ancestral traumas that was in your bloodline that you that was transferred down to the descendants of that bloodline. You know, and it was another girl that had jitters in her hand. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, there's trauma. And the trauma was that her great grandfather killed her great grandmother because in that time their village was being attacked. And he had jitters in, in, in his hand when it came to shooting his wife, which he didn't want to, but he knew that it would be better for her than, than you know, having her be raped or killed by somebody else. And he had jitters in his hand trying to shoot the trigger. And that particular trauma passed down to her as a surgeon. And once she realized that that had happened to her and she went through that process of, you know, healing, she was able to lose the jitters in her hand. It was deep. It was so deep. I recommend anybody go look at this show. It's a series. It's two seasons. It's two seasons of it. But it's really a good, you know, series for those that either are enlightened, for those that are even in self-awareness, for those that are just, you know, looking to heal trauma from another in another form because the surgeon didn't really believe in it because she was like, this is not science. It doesn't compare to science. How is this really real? How can, you know, this happen? And it happened. It made her a believer that it can happen. It was a blessing, but I recommend anybody to check out that movie. It's called Another Self. And it really talked about ancestral trauma and I know in my journey, I had healed a lot of ancestral trauma. And I know that you can heal too. And sometimes, you know, God is magical. This whole body is a magical being. Our bodies are magical. Our bodies can heal itself. You know what I'm saying? But once you get rid of those traumas that may be going on within your emotional body from your ancestral lineage, some of those things that you're battling with can be healed too anxiety, fears, addictions, you know, um, relation, relationship problems, you know, diseases that may be in your body. I mean, it's real. This thing is real. And I just wanted to just come and just bring some awareness to it. If did nobody know. And if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe. You can hit that thumbs up. You can leave a donation or even a comment or share. So um, some people can kind of get the video too. So y'all have a blessed day. I'll be back with another video. Bye.